It's my birthday, I'm 37, and um, I'm in jail. I was arrested because I had a warrant, which I didn't know until the cops said, oh, you have a warrant. I said, what do you mean I have a warrant? For what? What did I do? He's like, you're never called and said, you set the house on fire. Set the house on fire? I wasn't even home yesterday. I've been in the city all weekend celebrating my birthday. Today's my birthday. And um, I'm in jail for arson. Are they closed or something? They shouldn't be. You know, keep trying. I called two bail bonds and nobody's answering. You I've never lit anything on fire. I don't even have lighters in my house because I don't keep candles there. So I don't know how I could have lit this house on fire. But it's he said, she said, so. We've been having problems ever since. What was it like? Probably two or three weeks ago, and they called the landlord and said my boyfriend kicked the dog. I said, that's weird because I can prove that my boyfriend didn't kick the dog. He's in jail. Would you like me to pull the record to prove to you that he didn't kick the dog? They started stealing my mail. They started dog poop and cat poop all was smeared all over my front door. Like, it was disgusting. They started putting trash all over my lawn and stuff. Not lawn, it's like dirt, but like dirt and rubbish and leaves and all that. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I found another place, but until that place comes through, I'm supposed to move next weekend. Now I'm in jail. So, I mean, I'm personally not gonna do it. I go to church, I don't give a I'm too mature for that Maybe in my 20s, sure. Could I beat her ass? Sure. Why? Who's that gonna help? I'm sorry, walking, she's following me, harassing me. I'm sorry, what was that? When do I expect to get out of here? I've already called my dad. He was the first call I made when I got booked. And they're in the process of bailing me out. Um, my bail's only set at 50,000. They're very um, cautious with their money. So it's not like the money's not there. It's more of, can my dad talk my mom into bailing me out? <laughs> I'm sticking. It's a lot of money. Like, I mean, not that I won't pay them back, but I have to spend, you know, X amount of dollars on her damn birthday. What the What did you over there do? You're not gonna bail me out tonight? I'm not trying to make you feel bad. If you're not gonna bail me out, that's fine. I'll go to court and get over it. And... Which is let me sit in jail? How are you helping me if you're letting me sit in jail? Well, you're not bailing me out. You're gonna let me sit here on my birthday in jail when I didn't do anything. Of course I'm gonna be mad. Matt. Yeah, lower your voice. I'm still here. That's fine. So don't bail me out, and then I won't talk to you. I'm done. Hey, Genevieve. Can you tell us what's going on right now? Or? No. It more upsets me, more than makes me pissed or angry because such is life, you know, everything happens for a reason. Liz, let's start you in, come on. All right. Well, if you get a bill somehow, then we'll dress you back in, okay? Sorry, talking about it. Maybe if I was not here, something would have happened to me that day. So, you know, I really think um, God always has his hands on me, you know, so maybe I'm not supposed to be home today for photo every reason. I mean, I, I was at my house maybe five minutes, long enough to feed the cat and walk out. What time is it now? I've been there for two hours. Unfortunately. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm here. I didn't do anything. It's my birthday. I've been with my family all weekend. You know, so it's more hurtful than like mad or angry because I didn't do anything. You know, there's no reason for it. But like I said, maybe God knows, God has a plan. I don't know what it is or whatever, but we just have to trust him and, you know, know that it's gonna be okay. okay. <laughs>